Hello my friends, I'm Clover and this is Genuinely Approachable Sudoku. And for the first time in like three and a half years, I managed to actually forget gas yesterday. Um, I knew it was going to happen eventually. I'm traveling, it's my anniversary, you can see I'm th those are not my empty liquor bottles behind me, those are from the Airbnb that we're staying in. Uh, but I am making it up to you today with a solve of this lovely Bill Murphy puzzle. Bill was gracious enough to step in at the last second and post something for us because I completely dropped the ball. And now I am going to be solving it with you. So this is Doves by Bill Murphy. Um, this is normal Sudoku, so we're placing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each heavily outlined 3x3 three three region. And on top of that, we have some quadruples clues in the grid. So quadruples clues tell you that the digits in the white circle have to show up somewhere around that circle of those surrounding four cells. So for instance, there have to be a three, four, and five somewhere in these four cells. And we're gonna start right here because we have a one, two, three here. We have a one looking at it. So the only place that one can live from that one, two, three is there. And then the two and three have to go there. Five, six, seven here, we have a five looking into it. So the five can only go there and that's gonna be a six, seven pair. 7, 8, 9, we have a 9 looking into it, that's going to be our 9, and that will be a 7, 8 pair. And 3, 4, 5 with a 5 looking in, that's going to be a 5, that's going to be a 3, 4 pair. And then the next thing that jumps out at me is that le that lets us resolve our 2 and our 3. And also, if we look at this quadruple, we have a 3, 4 quad here, so we need to place a 3 and 4 somewhere around here. We already have our 3 and 4 as this pair in row 2. So the 3 and 4 for this quad have to go here and here. There's a 3 in the region. So that's going to be the 4, and that will be the 3. Now this 3, 4, 6 is going to resolve a bit better because we have that 4 now. So where do we put a 4 around here? Well, we can't put it in column 3, so it's got to go there. We need to place a 3 and 6. There's a 6 in this region already, so that will be the 3, and that will be the 6. Now we need a 6, 7 pair in this quad. 6 and 7 in row 8 are already taken care of, and in fact that gives us an 8 there. And so 6 and 7 have to go there and there. But because there's a 7 in region 9 already, that'll be the 6, that'll be the 7. And now we're going to place 4, 6, and 7 in these three cells. There's already a 6 in column 7, so that'll be a 6, a 4, and a 7. And I believe that's all of our quad clues, except the ones that are just reduced to pencil marks at the moment. So let's focus on a bit of classic Sudoku. So I notice we have 6s in rows 4 and 6, so there will be a 6 right there. And our remaining digits in the central region, which is kind of filling up, are going to be 1, 3, 7, and 9. We can't put a 3 here. There's a 3 in that column. We can't put a 7 here. And there's not anything else we can do with that right now, so let's focus elsewhere. I notice this 9 here is not already represented in region 7, and the only place it can go is right there. And then the three digits I still need in region 7 are going to be a 2, 4, and 8. I have fours in two of those columns, so four goes there. I have a two in column two, so that's going to make that an eight and make that a two. Now I don't seem to have anything similar here. I do have a one up here that rules one out of these cells, so that's going to be a one. And then the three digits that I need here are going to be two, six, and eight. And symmetrically with what we have on the left side of the grid, we have sixes there and there, so that'll be a six. We have an eight in column eight, so that's going to be a two and an eight. Now in this region, we need all of our high digits still. We need six, seven, eight, and nine. Seven and nine already appear in row three. So they have to go into these two positions, leaving these ones for six and eight. Now, because we have a seven, nine pair, this guy can't be a seven, so that's a six. That's gonna be an eight, and that will be a six. These cells have to have all of our low digits, one, two, three, and four. We have a one and three here, so that's gonna be a two, four pair. That's gonna be a one, three pair, which makes this a four and that's a two and a four. Now in this row, we'll finish off with an eight and a nine. And in this row, we're gonna finish off with a one and a two. Now what looks most restricted from here? I'm looking at column two and column eight because those each only have two more digits to go. And actually that's also true of columns three and seven. So let's kind of focus on these empty squares right here. So right here, we still need a five and a nine to complete the column. And because there's a five in the central row, we can go ahead and place those. Here we need a 7 and an 8, which we can do, and that 7 is going to start us off filling out this central region because now 7 can only go in one spot because of these two 7s. So here we're going to need 2 and 3 to finish the column like that. That can't be a 3, so my 3 goes right there. 
And here I'm going to need a 1 and a 5, which will go there. And now I'm noticing that the central rows are nearly done. I still need a 3 and 7 in my middle row. They'll go there and there. Right here I need a 1, a 2, and a 9. Now I already have a 1 and 2 in column 9, so this is actually a naked 9, which gives me a 1 and a 2 right here. And I can finish things off just by filling in the last digit in each house. Now let's finish off the puzzle. So top row, I still need a 4, a 5, a 7, and a 9. I notice I have a 5, 7, and 9 in this column, so this is actually a naked 4. I can eliminate a 9 from here, and I can eliminate a 7 from here. And I bet I get a symmetrical deduction down here. This puzzle has been very symmetrical. 1, 3, 5, and 6 there. I have a 1 and 3 here. I have a 3 and 5 here. I have a 1 and 6 here. Not quite fully symmetrical. Let's see where this takes us. So I need 1, 6, and 8 in this column. Okay. And that was a naked 1. Here I still need a 6, 7, and 9 in the row. That can't be 6 or 9, so that's going to be my 7. And my last two digits will be a 2 and a 4. And that is how you solve Bill Murphy's lovely doves. Thank you again, Bill, for, for stepping in when I really dropped the ball with the gas yesterday. I'm about to post this and post my own puzzle. And if you want to solve this one yourself, the link to do so is in the description below this video. I will see you again in two days.